Hello again, it is your Black Knight, and now it's like, what time is it? It is almost 11.30 at night, 11.29. I have the mornings, I have the evenings, hey, we got fun. Okay, so, uh, I, I'm thinking this has served us well. I don't know that we aren't going to need something a little bit even beef here. Perhaps a little bit more classic than this. I mean, you know, there is, it is tempting to run through the whole thing in a Granger. It does have mines. But I feel like we're going to need something that's going to tank a whole lot more damage. I have not watched any of the, uh, the videos on how to do this yet. I've been trying to do this pretty, pretty pure. Pretty, you um, pretty well keeping the surprise. Who's on? Oh, Booty Horse is on. Okay. Trying to do it pretty straight up. Sup? Huh. Forgot we had to do it. Uh, I'll call my buddy in pharmaceuticals. Gonna cost you, but I can get what we need. I'm going for the mechanic, actually. Do we want to do the armored Kuruma or go heavy? Huh? Do want to go heavier Let me weapons? Know. Deal more damage. I feel like going old school with this. I'll bring it by. I don't think we're going to take a lot of All explosive right. damage. We might be ready. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's close. Good. Well, I need security. I feel like I need a security blanket. I go to this car. I love this car. I really, 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 on several levels, love this car. Now, let's go to the V. Will Vincent call us? Or do I have to go to the V to trigger the next thing? At some point we're going to have to choose a mission. And it's like, depending on how it goes, we could get better stuff for the final heist. It depends on which one we pick. If we want to take an easy setup, then we get crappier stuff. Is this just going to get us chased again? Last time we did this, we just got a one star, and then later on he called us. Okay. Let's see what happens. So, we have some important yet enjoyable decisions to make. On the one hand, you need to acquire your preferred weapons and gear. On the other, you need to acquire your getaway vehicle. We'll need to steal both. These can't be traced back to us. Where would you like to start? Okay. Okay, set up. Concealed weapons. Or hit and run. We just set it to hard to get the, uh, the better stuff? No, no, we must select our target. So we select the target inside the mission. And you're supposed to be able to solo the whole thing. We're going to try. That's nice. Stand by for your target locations. Yes, this is Vincent. should be coming through now. These are our targets. Of weapons and one stash of gear. If 
any of it ends up getting traced after our raid, it'll lead to these reprobates instead of us. I've sent you the coordinates of some appropriate targets. You don't need to hit them all. My advice is to investigate your options, determine which gang is gonna have a loadout that suits your preferences, and prioritize accordingly. As I was saying earlier, we need weapons and we need equipment. That's armor and masks. We don't want anyone at the Cluck and Bell factory catching a glimpse of your memorable face. Okay, so... Looks like Target A is just some average guys. Target B is like more professional, maybe mafia types. Target C is Merriweather. Which way you think we're gonna go? Hey, if you want the best stuff from the people that to kill all the time. I was, yes, I was thinking about grabbing the sparrow, going in and blasting the crap out of him. We probably don't want to. We don't want to destroy the equipment. This is pretty elaborate. Like, this should be more difficult because it's Merriweather, but we should get better guns. I would think. I would think you get the best guns from Merriweather. I think the fact that they put, you know, a custom insurgent pickup that you have to shoot, shoot down. But we do that. We do that all the time. This thing should be able to take the bullets. Love the sound of that motor. It's humming along. When the chips are down, this car comes in handy. And remember, I'm not in this for the money. I'm a little bit in this to help out Vincent. I, I, I'm sympathetic to his character. Especially since we share the first... Going to kill them all. I'm saying it's especially since Vincent and I share the same first name, but I mean, I'm just saying. How do we want to approach this? Well, first of all, I think we could just balls it. Oh! Stuff on the other side. I don't see the stuff. AP pistol, one of my favorites. There should be both weapons and gear at these locations. 
Steal a bag of gear. Okay, so there's a bag of gear. There's a bag of gear. Put that down. You know what I'm driving. He died by a gunshot to the groin. You should be in this car, not behind it. That car could blow me to smithereens. And there you are, just sitting behind it. Someone behind the wall? Okay, bag of gear. Bag of gear. Okay, let's hop out and get a bag of gear. No, you're not. Well done. Take everything you've procured to the lockup. There will be pursuit. Just to be clear, we need at least one set of equipment. But you don't have to stop there. If you want to pay each target a visit, be my guest. Whatever you grab, we'll make sure it's available when we hit the factory. If you revisit any group that was previously graced with your presence, they will not be so welcoming. Especially if you're there for one of their cars. Hmm, that'll be an interesting thing, because Meriwether has slow, crappy vehicles, usually. Now, does this mean we can do the mission multiple times? I don't see a reason to go after the other, the other equipment. That technically wasn't his fault because the other guy drove him into me. I don't see a reason to slow down here, just just outpace him. No reason to engage. like the heat's done. AP pistol, I can work through anything with an AP pistol. These weapons and gear can never be traced to us. Just what you need to go up against an adversary with the LSPD in their pocket. We'll need a getaway vehicle with a similar provenance. That's for another day. Oh, it's for tonight. That must be Vincent's ride. I like it. <laughs> Puts it right up the top. That should suffice for our purposes. If you want more options, be my guest. When you're ready, just send me a message confirming the equipment you want to use. I think we're good here, Vincent. Let's not go crazy. This is Vincent. Send him a text. Combat shotgun and grenades, that should be an M oh yeah, that should be fine. Gear. Roger. Heavy armor. Good. I'll arrange for any extras to be stashed in case you change your mind. You have yet to disappoint. No, that, that's all good. If you get the best stuff, just get the best stuff. I can always do all of them later on. I have more time.
Are we still shot up here a bit? Yeah, a little bit. No, no it's healed. The car is healed. Getaway cars. That's kind of intriguing. I wonder what the options are. Ooh. Good job. Now that you've secured all the weapons and gear necessary to take on a clucking bell factory overrun by the cartel, we should discuss your means of escape. And we will, we will, totally. Set of paranoia. Yes, we are recording. Okay. I am shopping to make, you now I can make this my second monitor. But, you know, now the Subaru's overheating again, so I'm probably gonna hold off. We're just gonna see what. Do I need heads? You know, there's things. This could be. This could take a while. Do I need head gasket repair on this? I hopefully not. We're figuring that out. Next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. We need to take the same precautions we did for the weapons. We steal it from a gang, so the trail leads to them instead of us. Okay. I'm ready to do that. Hit and run. Conceal the weapons. Breaking entry. Hit and run should be... Get the car. Okay. And go. I want to do it on my own, on my own, I want to go chase the gangs in Armored Karuma. Nice wheels, Vincent. Right. I'm sending the locations of three viable getaway vehicles. Get a good look at these surveillance shots I'm sending through. These are the gangs on our radar. Okay. I'm sure you have plenty of vehicles capable of getting you out of Cluck and Bell with all your extremities intact, but we need something that can't be traced to us. I've acquired three suitable options for a getaway car. All of them are sourced from local gangs bribing the LSPD to turn a blind eye to their activities. If the car ends up getting traced, the trail leads back to them, not us. We'll only need to use one of them for the raid. The choice is always is yours. Is that a Karuma or an arm? That's a regular Karuma or something. So you get the yeah, speedy cars okay. there. We got three cars from three gangs, but you only need one to get away from the Cluck and Bell factory. Though all these cars differ in quality, you can safely assume all of these locations will have men with guns on standby, ably prepared to deal with any so called fuck shit. I believe. The the car on the on the left there is the terminus. These are the same gangs you may have previously visited in order to borrow their equipment. If you're rash enough to return to the same people, expect heavy resistance this time. Yeah, well, that's what we do, isn't it? From a logical perspective, if you're trying to frame a group, and here's what I'm thinking: if I can get the following, if I can get the new terminus, and we have to escape from Cluckenbell, can we escape up Chiliad? Can we do some G-Fred routes here? Because that will do it. Probably anything will do it. 
Well, this might be a case of grab a couple cars and see what you want to do. Let's see what's available. Because if I end up with like a regular Canis, you know, Mesa or something like that, that would be terrible. But we can kill people all day long here. Or all night long, in my case. This video might be a little more rambly than usual. It's just, I'm just saying. A little more rambly than usual. The usual. I say the usual. Now let's start coming at me with, you know, if, the, if I get blown up, then you immediately call in the tank. Something like that. The only problem with the tank is they might blow up all the cars. You've seen what those guys can do when you've blindsided them. But they'll be ready for you this time. I wouldn't underestimate the fight they'll put up for one of their sweet ass cars. Eyes up. That chopper flying overhead has our vehicle. Take it down and don't sweat the damage. With all of that heavy, the fall won't even leave it dead. Huh. Well then. Well then, I hardly ever use this, but should be able to take three. Miss. Cars on the ground. Yep, but it is that. It is what I was hoping for. Let's take down a couple more choppers. See if they respond. So far? No. Oh, yes, they're the back. This is going to be choppers all the way back, isn't it? It's the new one. I've secured a garage near the factory where we can safely keep the car until the raid. I don't know if this is fully upgraded, but it's it is nice. Uh oh. You have to know this was coming. Or you know. This feels adequately fast for a getaway. It's not it's not a sports car, but excellent choice. We're not in any rush out there, so feel free to pay the other gangs a visit and evaluate their cars too. Hmm. You will be appropriately compensated for any extra vehicles you bring back. Well that's interesting. Is this even a little bit bulletproof? I'm guessing not. Now that lets them catch up. But not for long. Hey, you know what? We could try to use that to our advantage. Let's use our uh, our vehicle's ability. Did somebody just explode? Something exploded. Can they come up here? They can try.
Let's see, we probably want to get down on this side of the, uh, of the bridge. We'll probably get resistance, but we have time now without resistance to go help in and, uh, snack a ruse. Snack, snack, snack. Let's pick up some more snacks at some point. Anybody? I hear bullets. And so are they. Gonna hear bullets now. Lots of canises. And they don't have bullet for tires on theirs. Okay. Ow. Okay, let's use some traffic for protection. Yeah, it feels like a standard gun running extra parts mission. Only with a much better car. We're good. We're golden. We're being shot in the back of the head repeatedly. But, you know, here we are. They're going to try to shoot us in the front of the head, so that's, that's even better. That actually might have been really easy with the helicopter. And we're going to use the helicopter. Okay, where do we get in here? You said it was a garage near the Cluck and Bell. You didn't say it was in the Cluck and Bell. Where are we in here? Let's... This it? Oh no, we're actually still. Repair? Oh, you have to we have to repair it at the mod shop. Can we do more than repair it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Huh? Hello, rabbit. Oh no! Not again! Yep, yep, it crashed. Just as I'm approaching the mod shop to fix up the car. <sighs> fine, fine, but we're just we're just gonna do it with even heavier gear this time to make it even quicker. That's an interesting one. I did find the link on that. I think it was Subscribe for Tacos might have put me onto that one. I forget which one I was watching. But yeah, yeah, they can free car. And then you have to be between March twenty first and something else. Let's load it up. There you go, more negative waves. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. Okay, let us just say, let's, first of all, we're recording, yeah. <coughs> let us just say that we're going to be doing this with a little less patience. Touch it. Okay. Contact them. Next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. We need to take the same precautions we did for the weapons. We steal it from a gang, so the trail leads to them instead of us. Didn't know if maybe there'd be a different kind of. They, they've had multiple voice things there. Hit and run, and hopefully, don't crash the computer. Purchase, purchase, purchase. <coughs> the car in the street, right. a little bit opposite. Send the locations of three viable getaway vehicles. Unavailable. Oh, that's cheap and cheesy. I'm sure you have plenty of vehicles capable of getting you out of Cluck and Bell with all your extremities intact, but we need something that can't be traced to us. I've acquired three suitable options for a getaway car. All of them are so 
source from local gangs bribing the LSPD to turn a blind eye to their activities. If the car ends up getting traced, the trail leads back to them, not us. We'll only need to use one of them for the raid. The choice is always is yours. So we gotta do it exactly like we did last time. I was gonna pull in a sparrow, but they won't let you pull in a sparrow. You gotta do all this. Okay. Old school. It's interesting, I can't change vehicles, so if I needed something else, the most I'll be able to do is probably have it fixed and then call it back in, but I'm locked into this car, which is not a bad thing. <coughs> this might have been a good one for, if this locks up again, or maybe the next time around, this might be a good one for the, uh, the weaponized Tampa, because you could gun down these helicopters real easily. But still, we got the tactical smeg here. We'll we'll smeg them down. You've seen what those guys can do when you've blindsided them, but they'll be ready for you this time. We wouldn't underestimate the fight they'll put up for one of their sweet ass cars. To back up a little bit just so that we can get do some damage to them. You take out a tilt rotor? That's not tilt. Take out one of the back rotors here and then you're out of range. Do we have to get their attention the proper way here again? All right, that was extremely bad luck. Uh, more is mutual. Morris Mutual Insurance, how can we help you? I'll do my best. Okay, we need to get that, wherever it's going to show up. You've come after these guys, not once, but twice. My friend, you are not only effective, but a menace. We need to get to our car. Because I'm under gunfire now. That's a little bit different than last time. Ooh, that was a little bit closer than I would have liked. With my last dying breath. Now, with this is going not as well. Wow, we got a shot two bits here. Barrage is no less. Huh. Let's see if you can take it off road. Now if I take out this helicopter, which at that range shouldn't be that hard, right? I should have enough 
enough clearance. <laughs> Surprise! Now get back in. Whee! You know, I say go with the, the what you call because you could take this stuff out pretty handily. But I'm pretty well protected here so far too, so I really can't complain. They're kind of chicken. Maybe. Let's get to the get to the goal. And then fight for it. Oh, they've hit the car. We got Menendez. That's all we really needed to do. Is this the... Well, this isn't the one I wanted. Oh, man. We've been... We've been cheated. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, it is more bulletproof. I mean, there, there is that. First, this one should be, you know, the terminus is faster, but this one. This one should be able to take it. I mean, it's, it's definitely more bulletproof. Not as quick, though. Should still be good off road. No mines. But it's 100% bulletproof from behind, so if we just can't stay ahead of him, we should be safe. <laughs> that was ugly. Excellent choice. We're not in any rush out there, so feel free to pay the other gangs a visit and evaluate their cars too. They will be appropriately compensated for any extra vehicles you bring back. Breaks. Oh, he got me! Mission failed, you know, but this is getting the harder than I expected. That was one of those classic kind of point blank cheats that you get sometimes with them. Um, let's do a quick page up, re quick restart. Hopefully, we will have the car. I'm in my car. We have to start all over. Oh, come on. The quick restart should give you some. All right. This one mission is going to be, you know, th th after this mission, we're going to. Uh... Now I'm bitter. We're, we're entering bitter mode. And if this doesn't work out this time, I'm going to exit out. Going for a pile of here, but I can't get it. Fine. Fine. Let's do that. Source, huh? I must commend your 
total commitment to fucking these guys up. Got it. Like I said, I'm better. What'd you say? What did you imply? No. I've secured a garage near the factory where we can safely keep the car until the raid. That's the difference. We need sprunk. Looks like we're pretty intact. We took out the barrages. Excellent choice. We're not in any rush out there, so feel free to pay the other gangs a visit and evaluate their cars too. We will be appropriately compensated for any extra vehicles you bring back. Okay, so they're both dead. Your, your luck from before has turned into less than luck now because now I'm being more diligent. Our tires, and then pull away. As long as they stay behind me. Not today. That might have been a civilian, but... This poor biker is in a crossfire. Did they get a tire on me? Go, 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 go. Keep your back to them. Until... Power slide. Now, and now we're on That, that one's pretty well shot to bits. This is not as good as the Terminus. But again, it may have its advantages of being a little more bulletproof, so we'll see how it goes. Stop. Go, 
And of course the traffic tries to help. I think they got another tire there. Traffic tries to help again. Traffic tries to help again. Gonna make me go to the uh, but to take you to the garage and then they redirect you. That's the goofy part of this. Or can I just bring it in? Somebody can just bring it in. It's busted up. Should we not get that fixed? There might be something better. Let's let's do it this way. Let's just see what happens. We'll let's use it. Hopefully it's in better shape. Hopefully we fix they fix it up. This car should provide all the means necessary for a perfect escape. Now clear the area. We'll be in touch. I'll be honest. I want to close out this mission before the computer crashes again, and then I'm screwed. That's a thing. Okay, if I cut across this way, does this count? Come on, I'm out of the area. How far out of the area do I have to clear? That's further than usual. Okay, fine, we have a call in the car. Because they're not letting us do this. By running. It's a pretty far run. It's hard to do. Go all the way down to like the docks? What are we doing here? Come on, in the mission. Seriously, how far out do I have to drive? There you go. Phew, all right, so we, we're set up. Pops pills. Oh, goodness. You used to have a house up here. Still have the, the arcade. We should stop at the arcade. Excellent. I've been investigating where the factory workers park, and fortunately for us, the garage seems to get completely ignored. Your getaway car will remain undisturbed until it's time for the raid. Hopefully the huge gaps in the frame and all that are, uh... Just decorative. Let's go in here. We're gonna grab some money. And before I do this, I might, I'm going to probably re-armor and re-snack and reload. Of course, I should be getting, you know, cheater weapons. Should be getting the, I won't be using my own stuff. This is all set up and ready to go whenever someone feels like doing that.
And on that note, folks, let's. I think this has been a long enough video. We we will continue on here. But, uh, yeah, that was quite the adventure. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I've managed 48 minutes, but I did it with a friend. Yeah, it's not easy when you do it for the very first time. I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Are you serious?